Hey, you better get ready. We are now just six weeks away from the Lions' first game of the 2016 season. Wow is right. But before the team can kick off a new season, there's preseason and, of course, training camp. And that's where we find 7 Sports anchor Brad Galley in Allen Park, where the Lions had their first practice of the season. Brad. Listen, if this is the equivalent of the Tigers and opening day in the big party downtown, people getting so excited for the first day of the sport returning to the city, Mother Nature literally tried to rain on the party today because rain stopped fans from coming into the gates to watching their favorite team, but it didn't deter them from trying to get a glimpse of their favorite team on the Lions. Casey Holland says more with the people braving the rain. Well, the beginning of training camp means the official start of football season, and this year the Lions season got off to a very soggy start. I'll be seeing the Lions. Wherever they at, if it's raining, if it's snowing, we're trying to be there. We're trying to be a part of it. The people in line to see the Lions take to the field for the first day of training camp are not fair weather fans. I like it when it rain because it's funny, but I do not like it when it's thunder and rain, lightning because it makes me super scared. It's just going to be fun. We've been waiting for rain for weeks, and now we get it now. <laughs> Hundreds stood in line for hours today to watch practice, only to have it moved indoors, limiting viewing capacity due to the rain. But the excitement for the upcoming season survived the downpour. I put my bet in in Vegas for us to win already. The only thing tempering the mood, it seemed, was the absence of Megatron. I wish Kevin Johnson was here, but he retired a longest time ago. But not even that seemed to matter to this pint-sized Lions fan. Go Lions! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. The Lions do have fewer practices open to the public this year than they did last year, but there's still a couple at Ford Field, including one that will involve a scrimmage, so there's going to be a little competition to watch. For now, with the Lions at Allen Park, Casey Hollins, 7 Action Sports. Casey, thanks. For the fans that have withstood the rain, I am being told that the Lions are going to bring some players out and surprise some fans for autographs, so that's pretty cool. And one of the autographs people are going to seek out today, Darius Slay, one of the team's best players, perhaps their best defensive player, getting locked up to a long-term extension. We're going to have more on that. He is talking right now. Going to bring you that at 6 o'clock and also going to try to talk with Marvin Jones, another big addition, one-on-one -on -one at 6. For now, reporting live in Allen Park, Brad Galley from the start of Lions training camp, 7 Action News. All right, Brad, can't wait to hear. We just have our fingers crossed that they'll win this year. We are diehard. Rain, shine, <laughs> snow. Thank you, Brad.